on this Saturday morning, a little bit late, because I've changed the camera angle. So hopefully, I've got this space to work in, and it's, I've not cut off the edges. Hopefully, and hopefully I don't jump out of shot as much, and the whole thing's just an improved experience. A, 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 an accentuated viewing experience for you while we exercise together in home circuits with me Rob and uh, we do this every Saturday we are moving to 9 in October so an hour earlier um, and call to 7 on a Friday morning as well rather than 4 o'clock on a Wednesday but more about that when it happens for now we are on the second workout of this week and it is three circuits we are doing today of three exercises and it's 40 seconds of each exercise and so we progress the exercises slightly in the fact that we're doing them for longer periods of time um, and we shall crack on and we shall start getting warmed up so uh, Five seconds, just uh, let's just start running on the spot, hey? Let's not just hang around for five seconds, not doing anything. Let's get warmed up. So, just getting that heart rate up, breathing circulation going. I'm going to run towards you and do exactly what I said that I wouldn't do and run out of shot. And the reason for that is because I've already walked. Shock horror, I realised that my wife had uh, elbow to knee, so we're into elbow to knee. My, my wife had switched the heating off yesterday. <laughs> what are you doing that for? Apparently it was cold. My, my answer to that is, do stuff like this. Get warm that way. Far less expensive. Well. Yeah. Let's just leave it at that. So, elbow to knee, warming the hip flexors, warm the abs, get the heart rate up, breathing circulation going. Let's go, toe touches. So, I want you to touch opposite fingers to opposite toes, bringing those hips back. If I go side on, you can see that my hips are going back. But back staying reasonably straight, head up, back straight, chest out. This is really good for warming those hamstrings, glutes, posterior chin. Excellent. So let's warm those arms up now. Say arms, shoulders, chest back, mainly shoulders. Getting that circulation through those tendons and ligaments in the multi-directional joints that we call shoulders. Very important part of the warm-up. So cross at the front and then nice and wide, bringing those arms back. Excellent, so let's cross at the bottom, cross at the top. Keep it going, just warming those shoulders. Five seconds. Excellent, okay, so next one we're gonna do walk out so literally I'm going to try and stay in shot for this kind of so bend at the hips walk those hands all the way out flat to the floor press back up walk in keep it going hopefully stay in shot for the majority of that Excellent, okay, so what I want you to do now is moving back to shoulders 
I'm going to try and get as far back as I can so you can see what I'm doing. We're doing shoulder press with no weight. Try and pin those shoulders back and press above your head. Try and get those abs behind your ears and press up. Pulling those abs tight. Excellent. Okay, so let's go out to the side now. Again, like I say, these shoulders are multi directional. Side raises. Bent over side raises, reverse flies, whatever you want to call them. That's what we're doing. And as I say, these shoulders are multi directional, so we try and warm them up in a good few ranges of motion just to avoid any sort of injury or discomfort but also helping fire those muscles up to improve your posture. Excellent. Okay, so that's eight exercises back to back just to get nicely warmed up, heart rate up, breathing circulation going. Right. So the first couple, well, the first three exercises that we're going to do in the first circuit is skater squat. Now that's your first two exercises because it's a unilateral exercise so we're going to do skater squat on one side so sit down stand back up what am I saying that's not skater squat that's pistol squat that's what we did we need a piece of equipment so grab a, a broom handle or something similar Bear with me. Here's what I made earlier. So, skater squat. Have that, have that, um, hopefully I can stay in shock this. Have that, um, that broom handle arm in front of you. And then all you're gonna do is bring one leg up, and you're going to bring that back as you squat down and then drive back up. Hopefully I can do a better demonstration of that. So, bring that leg up. Keep it in the air as you squat down and then drive back up. That's your skater squat. We're going to do 30 seconds on one side. And then 30 seconds on the other. Using this broom handle as a bit of support, yeah? So, it's best to have that broom handle actually. So, whichever leg that's in the air, have that broom handle on that side. So, left, right foot in the air, right hand holding the broom handle. Push that opposite arm out in front and squat down and then drive back up, yeah? So, we're doing 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. <clears throat> now, we pull that down and we're going to do plank. So, we're down onto the plank. We all know planks are boring, so we're just going to make this a little more interesting. Hopefully you can still see me. In that we're going to uh, plank position and then elevate one leg and elevate the other opposite hand. Yeah. So and because we're going we're going four times round on this. Just hold it on one side for the 40 seconds, and then on the next round, hold it on the other side. It'll make sense when we go into the rest. All right. So I am just going to adjust my timer. We are doing 40 seconds of each exercise today. Four times round. Okay, five seconds when we're going into it. We're doing the skater squats first. So, away we go. 40 seconds skater squats. Just 
what I need to do. The time that we've got, we've got five seconds left on this side. And then swap sides. So whichever foot's elevated, have that broom handle on that side. Away we go. Much stronger on this side. Even though... Ooh, I'm left footed, my right side seems a lot stronger. Ten seconds, just as many as these as you can do. Excellent, okay. So we're into plank. As I say, with this, one foot elevated, opposite, hand. So it's, whew, it's a balancing exercise. Whoa. Once you've found it, it's really good for shoulder stability on that hand that's on the floor. And obviously, breathe out on the hand that isn't, and then obviously out. 40 seconds. Excellent, okay, so that. Well, head rush, right. Straight back into the skate squats. As I say, I'm not, good, not as good on the left hand side for some reason. Oh, hopefully you can see me. 
<laughs> Sorry, bit of a mind blank. Okay, so we're doing bend over row with both weights. So, 40 seconds of bringing those hips back and squeezing those shoulder blades together as you row in, yeah? So that's 40 seconds of bent over rows. And then we are into single arm banded chest press. If you have a band, grab a band, a resistance band. If you don't, don't worry, you don't need one. So, hopefully be able to see this exercise. <laughs> see this, that's what the whole page is about. What you're gonna do is with the band, and these are really good sort of cheap alternatives to buying a load of weights. Just, uh, just resistance bands. So, and I want you to grab your form of resistance as well on one side. And what we're gonna do, is we're going to lay back, elevate those legs. So elevating those legs, hopefully you can still see me. And have them, so you're creating tension on the abs. And then head back, chin into chest, and you're going to push one side up. So it's a unilateral exercise, we're going to go one side, one set of 40 seconds on one side, and then one set of 40 seconds on the other. I'm really hoping you can see this. <laughs> anyway, right, so, bend over rows first. Um, yeah, we'll stick with that camera angle. I don't want to start playing with the camera angle right at the moment. What I am going to do, just to make a few adjustments, is get rid of this footstool. Ugh. It's all physical activity. Just move your footstool around the room for a bit. <laughs> right. Okay, so that just gives us a bit more space. We can get rid of the broom handle as well, we don't need that now. And we're going to crack on. So... Five seconds, just to get set with those plates. And it's hips back, head looking forward, squeeze those shoulder blades together as you row in. We're into those rows. All of a sudden I've got loads of space. Okay, it's all it's all work in progress. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Looking forwards of your feet. You don't have to crane your neck back as long as you're keeping your head up. Squeezing those shoulder blades together, pushing that chest out, pulling those weights in towards your hips. We've got five seconds. Excellent. Okay, so now I've got loads of space to play with. <laughs> this should be a doddle, even though I haven't got much time. So we wrap those that resistance band around the back, and I move over so you can see me. Legs elevated. Have those knees just a little bit lower than your hips, so there's tension on the abs, and then you're pressing up with that single arm. So we're doing 40 seconds on one side. By having those knees a little bit lower than those hips, there's tension on those abs. Make sure the small of the back stays in the floor. Excellent, so swap sides. And we're going again on the other side, 40 seconds. Forty seconds. Keep it going. Added resistance, obviously, with the band. Hopefully, you're seeing all this. Looks like you are. Keep it going. Forty seconds. Excellent. So we get rid of the band. Grab both weight plates and we get those hips back, squeeze, pull it into the hip bone. Looking forward to your feet, keep your head up, chest out, back nice and straight, bum back, stick your bum out, no one's watching. 10 seconds. Excellent. 
Excellent. Okay. Find that band again. Place it around your back. Grab a weight plate. Knees. Feet in the air. Knees bent. Knees want to be lower than your hips. And then driving up. Keep it going. 40 seconds.
you've got tension on those abs, small lean back into the floor, remember.
Right, okay, so hopefully you've done about 10 seconds of leg raises. If you haven't, this is the movement that you need to be doing. So raising and lowering those legs. Keep it going. So. I'm just moving around to see if I can get into the shot. Hopefully you can see me. Yeah. Okay, so raising and lowering those legs. Knees on the floor. Little breather. And then straight into hat. Palms to knees, pulling those abs tight. Smaller your back goes into the floor. Tension on those abs. And then relax. And then go again. Keep it going. This is a really good one for isolating those abs as long as you get the smaller your back into the floor. Reach to those knees. seconds of this. Okay, so back into posterior plank. So hands down into the floor, push those hips up towards the ceiling. That is your posterior plank. To be fair, it's a bit more challenging than what it looks. So keep it held. Believe it or not, this feels really nice on the shoulders as well. I suppose it depends what you define as nice. 40 seconds, posterior plank, pushing those hips up towards the ceiling, keep it going. Tension in the glutes, down the hamstrings as well as in the core. Okay, so into those leg raises now. Getting to chest, raising and lowering those legs. Well done, okay. Five seconds of breather. Touch the floor behind you, arms to knees. Pull those abs tight, smaller your back goes into the floor. Keep it going, keep moving. Great tension on those abs. Pull the rib cage to your hips. Excellent, okay. Back into posterior plank. Elbows up in the air. Elbows up in the air, hips up in the air, pushing those heels down into the floor, into the chest, keep it going. 40 seconds hold. Do a little dance. Okay, it's leg raises. Sit on your hands, raising and lowering those legs. 40 seconds leg raises. to go. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so 
Five seconds to get into position for those knee touches. Away we go. Hopefully you can see it. Keep moving backwards. So we've done a lot of time and attention on the abs. This is switching those abs on, creating that tension and then relaxing, switching those abs off. So it's a really good exercise for finding those, those abs, those ab muscles, which you brace when you're doing other exercises. So it's strengthening that neuromuscular connection. Okay, last round. Push those hips up towards the ceiling. Posterior plank. Oh, down. <laughs> it's entirely up to you. Obviously, this is in the privacy of your own home. You can do it how you want. Keep it held. Excellent. So, five seconds just to get into that leg raise position. Away we go. Keep it going. As many reps of this exercise as you can do in the 40 seconds that we've got. See you soon.